Have you ever wondered how the tradition of Christmas came to be? Our journey begins in the time before Christmas was Christmas. The ancient Romans celebrated a festival called Saturnalia, honoring the god of agriculture, Saturn. This holiday was marked by feasting, gift giving, and a temporary societal role reversal, where slaves would become masters and masters, slaves. All this merriment took place at the darkest part of the year, around the winter solstice, when the days are shortest and nights are longest. Now let's fast forward a bit. The early Christians didn't celebrate the birth of Christ, focusing instead on his baptism and resurrection. But as Christianity spread across Europe, it began to absorb some of the local customs and traditions. The church, noticing the timing of the Saturnalia festival and the winter solstice, saw an opportunity. In the fourth century, the Roman Catholic Church made a strategic decision. They proclaimed December 25th as the official date to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. The idea was to replace the pagan festivities which were deeply ingrained in the people with a Christian holiday. This was no random choice. Aligning the celebration of Christ's birth with these existing winter festivals meant that it would be more readily accepted by the largely pagan public. It was a way of Christianizing the popular pagan rituals. Interestingly, the Bible doesn't mention the exact date of Jesus' birth, and it's unlikely it was in December, given the shepherds were keeping watch over their flocks by night, not something typically done in the cold winter months. So what we see is a merging of traditions, the Christian celebration of the birth of Christ and the pagan practices of the winter solstice and Saturnalia celebrations. This blend of customs and traditions over the centuries has shaped the Christmas we know and love today, so the roots of Christmas can be traced back to both pagan and Christian traditions. As we move into the Middle Ages, Christmas takes on a new form. This period, steeped in tradition and community, saw the holiday evolve in ways that still resonate in our modern celebrations. During the Middle Ages, the celebration of Christmas wasn't just a religious event, it was a community affair, a time of coming together. The festivities began on Christmas Eve and continued till the twelfth night, a span of twelve days filled with merrymaking and joyous celebration. One of the enduring traditions that took root during this time was caroling. Originally, these weren't the festive songs we're familiar with today. Caroling began as a form of oral storytelling, a means to share tales and legends and, of course, the story of Christmas. Over time, these stories were set to music, evolving into the carols we sing today. Another Middle Ages tradition was the practice of wassailing. This was a sort of early Christmas caroling where groups would go from house to house, singing and offering a drink from the wassail bowl in exchange for gifts. The wassail itself was a warm, spiced ale, often served with roasted apples. This tradition of communal sharing and celebration is a precursor to our modern-day practice of caroling and exchanging gifts. Christmas in the Middle Ages was also characterized by grand feasts. After a solemn mass, the community would partake in a feast filled with an array of dishes. These feasts were not just for the wealthy, they were communal events where everyone, rich and poor, could partake in the celebration. Through these traditions, the essence of community and shared celebration became intertwined with the Christmas holiday. The Middle Ages were instrumental in shaping Christmas, not just as a religious observance, but as a time of community, of sharing and of joyous celebration. Thus, the Middle Ages shaped Christmas into a community celebration. The Reformation brought about significant changes to the celebration of Christmas. In the 16th century, as religious dissent spread across Europe, the nature of Christmas observance began to shift. The Reformation, led by figures like Martin Luther and John Calvin, challenged the established Catholic Church and, in turn, altered how Christmas was celebrated. Many reformers viewed Christmas as a vestige of Catholic tradition or even pagan ritual, leading to a marked decrease in its celebration. In fact, this period saw Christmas being stripped of its festive grandeur in many Protestant areas, replaced with a somber reflection on the birth of Jesus. In some regions, the changes were even more drastic. Christmas was outright banned in certain territories, such as Scotland and even parts of colonial America, where Puritan influence was strong. These bans reflected the deep-seated religious tensions of the time. The Reformation period saw Christmas celebrations decline and even banned in some areas. Fast forward to the Victorian era and we see a resurgence of Christmas traditions. 
The Victorians, with their penchant for sentimentality and family, breathed new life into the holiday. Let's delve into this fascinating period of rebirth for Christmas. In the early Victorian period, Christmas was not as significant as it is now. However, the Victorians, with their love for ceremony and celebration, revived it, transforming it into the grand holiday we recognize today. One of the most notable contributions of the Victorians to Christmas is the introduction of Christmas cards. Sir Henry Cole, a civil servant and inventor, commissioned the first commercial Christmas card in 1843. These cards quickly became popular, spreading warm holiday sentiments across the country and eventually the globe. The Victorians also brought the tradition of the Christmas tree to the forefront. Prince Albert, Queen Victoria's beloved consort, is often credited with popularizing this tradition. He introduced the German custom of decorating an evergreen tree to the British royal family, and the idea soon caught on with the public. This Christmas icon truly took root in the Victorian era. Now, we cannot talk about Victorian Christmas without mentioning Charles Dickens. His novel, A Christmas Carol, published in 1843, played an instrumental role in reshaping the holiday's image. Dickens emphasized the importance of kindness, charity, and goodwill during Christmas, themes that continue to resonate with us today. The emphasis on family during Christmas also rose in prominence during the Victorian era. The holiday became a time for family gatherings filled with laughter, love, and the joy of gift giving. The Victorians cherished these moments of familial warmth and unity, and we continue to uphold this tradition. The Victorian era rekindled the spirit of Christmas, reintroducing and reinventing many of the traditions we know today. This period was instrumental in shaping Christmas as a time of celebration, generosity, and family togetherness. The echoes of a Victorian Christmas are still heard today, reminding us of the warmth and joy that this special day brings. In the modern era, Christmas has evolved into a global phenomenon. Let's delve into this fascinating metamorphosis. As the world entered the 20th century, Christmas began to morph into something more than a religious event. A significant catalyst of this change was the commercialization of the holiday. The season of goodwill became a season of buying, selling, and gift giving. Stores decked their halls with Christmas decorations and advertisements filled the airwaves, all enticing consumers to partake in the holiday shopping frenzy. The figure of Santa Claus too underwent a transformation. Originally based on the generous St. Nicholas of Myra, the modern Santa Claus became a symbol of Christmas cheer. His red suit, his jolly laugh, his magical sleigh pulled by reindeer, all these elements were popularized by advertisements, particularly those of a certain well-known soda company. Santa Claus became the face of Christmas, a figure associated with joy, magic, and importantly, gift giving. And speaking of gift giving, this tradition also gained prominence in the modern era. Exchanging gifts on Christmas Day, whether it's between family members, friends, or colleagues, has become an integral part of the holiday. It's a way to express love and appreciation, to bring joy and surprise, and of course, to partake in the consumer culture that has become synonymous with the season. But perhaps the most remarkable aspect of modern Christmas is its universality. Despite its Christian origins, Christmas is now celebrated by people of different faiths and cultures worldwide. It has transcended religious boundaries and become a time for unity, for goodwill and for peace. Whether it's through the lighting of a Christmas tree, the exchange of gifts or a hearty Christmas dinner, people across the globe come together to celebrate this festive season in their own unique ways. From commercialization to globalization, Christmas has truly become a universal celebration. So we've journeyed through time, exploring the fascinating history of Christmas. We've discovered the deep roots of this holiday, tracing back to its origins in both pagan and Christian traditions. We've seen how the Middle Ages transformed Christmas, infusing it with merriment, feasting, and the well-loved tradition of caroling. Then came the Reformation, a time of tumult and change which saw the holiday banned in some parts of the world. Yet it was the Victorian era that gifted us the Christmas we recognize today. It was a time of revival, with the introduction of Christmas cards, the Christmas tree, and even Santa Claus himself. In our modern times, Christmas has become a global holiday, celebrated by millions regardless of faith as a time of joy, generosity, and family. 
As we celebrate this festive season, we now know that Christmas is not just a holiday, but a rich tapestry woven through centuries of history.